guys, this is Ka from Sparhome.com Madrid. Today I'm showing you a two bedroom, two bathroom apartment on Calle de Italia in Villa Viciosa de Odon, which is a municipality 15 kilometers from the center of Madrid. This is a fairly residential, very uh, university town full of students of Universidad de Europea, which is very close by to this uh, apartment. The apartment is on the third floor with a lift uh, and uh, you are connected by various buses which take you straight to the center. It will take you approximately half an hour to 40 minutes to reach the center by bus. So let's show you the apartment. I was standing in the main hallway and let me roughly explain to you how the house is divided. On my right here is the living room. And along this corridor run bedroom number one, the kitchen, then there's bathroom number one, then the main bedroom, the master bedroom, there's an ensuite bathroom for the master bedroom, and there's a terrace running along this L shape. It's a pretty beautiful terrace, which I'll just show you in, in a bit. Let's start with the living room. It's got a fairly spe uh, spacious feel to it. Very well furnished, dining table, sofa set, it's got a center table, an air conditioner, a television unit, and right there is the first door to the terrace. Like I mentioned, it runs across the house, so you have basically three openings, three doors to the terrace. One of them is straight here in the living room. Let's move further down the corridor and we come to bedroom number one, which is the smaller bedroom out of the two. It's got a single bed, a shelving unit. It does not have an opening to the terrace, but it does have a fairly large window. It's also got this built in wardrobe, uh, plenty of space. Okay, let's take you to next room, which is the kitchen. It's got a fridge. And there's the second door to the terrace. It opens up. And look at the view from the kitchen. Pretty beautiful. The kitchen is uh, not fully furnished. So you'll have to get your own cutlery, pots and pans, but it does have a dishwasher, pretty handy. Uh, it's got a washing machine. It's got uh, a microwave as well. And these cabinets. Moving further along, we come to this corridor, which has got this tiny storage area, nicely fitted into the wall. Uh, yeah, there you go. Here it is. You can probably store your cleaning supplies here or your extra luggage. Again, on the left side, you have one more storage area. I love how spacious this whole apartment is and with not just two bathrooms, one but one and storage units like this. It really gives you a nice large apartment feel to it. Coming to the first bathroom, again, a very spacious bathroom, not at all crampy as you find in the center of the city. Of course, this is on the outskirts in a suburb, so it's got some space to it. There's a full length mirror here along with a shelving cabinet. We move further down. This is the last room along the end of the corridor and this is the master bedroom. It's got the double bed. Same lighting fixtures, two side tables, it's got a desk. But what is different in this room is got it's got two 
great qualities one it's got an ensuite bathroom which is again a very very spacious bathroom show it to you from this side and two last but not the least the best part about this apartment at least for me is the open space that it has and this is the third and the final door of the terrace let's show you the extension of this terrace so it runs all the way out there which was the first door of the living room the second one is this and then this is the third one connected to bedroom number two this is the view so you will not be disappointed with the view of this house at all you can enjoy beautiful sunbathing here so that's it guys if you have any doubts any queries please don't hesitate to contact us on the website spotterhome.com until later hasta luego